This video demonstrates the user interface of the basic EMG application, showing you how to use the controls to configure the feedback to your preference. There are four parts to the interface. In this video we'll cover the short-term display, including the threshold display, the long-term display, and the frequency analysis display. Audio feedback, including threshold-based feedback, is covered separately. This is the short-term display. This bar graph on the right is the threshold display. The threshold is a level that you can use as a sort of marker. You can drag this bar with your mouse to move it. And this dotted yellow line also shows the level. There are three controls for the short-term display shown below here. The first combo box allows you to set the level of averaging. This controls how smooth the trace looks. I like to set it to two seconds. You can see that when I set it to something much less, the signal looks a lot more variable. The advantage is that it's more responsive, but the disadvantage is that you see a certain amount of noise or seemingly random variation. The range control sets the vertical scale. The bottom of the chart is always zero, and this control sets the upper limit. If you're using the wrist placement, when you're fully relaxed, it's possible to get the reading down to maybe one microvolt. But you'll see that the EMG is highly variable. Even small movements can make a big difference. Note that with the wrist placement, your heartbeat often shows up as small bumps in the trace. It's only apparent when you're fully relaxed. If you're new to EMG biofeedback, you should probably set it higher, maybe 12, then later reduce it so that you increase the sensitivity of the display. With the forehead placement, the numbers are generally smaller, so you'll probably work with a lower range. When the head is fully relaxed, it's possible to get the reading down to 0.5 or maybe less. If the trace disappears off the top of the chart, you can see the actual reading in this numeric display here. The fourth control sets the length of time it takes for the trace to traverse the whole chart from right to left, or in other words, the horizontal range. You can see that if I set it to something lower, the trace goes faster. This control sets the frequency filter. I'll say something more about that in the context of the frequency analysis display. This is the long-term display. It works like the short-term display, but over a longer time scale. It has two controls here. The first one sets the time scale or the horizontal range. And the second one sets the vertical scale. Again, the bottom is always zero. For the long-term display, the level of averaging is fixed. This display shows the frequency analysis of the raw EMG signal. Its meaning is obscure and technical, and most people can ignore it completely. It's based on the idea that the raw EMG is a rapidly oscillating signal, made up of a wide range of frequencies. The chart shows the distribution of frequencies over the horizontal axis. The range of frequencies is set by this control, labelled filter, which I mentioned earlier. There are only two choices, one wide and one narrow. If you're not sure what difference it makes, just set it to 100 to 200, and then you can forget about it completely. See the application's user guide for further information.